What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video on high altitude investing. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some secrets inside of the market. So make sure that you guys watch clear till the very end because you're going to be getting a lot of value out of this one. Before we really get started on what I'm going to be talking about today, though, make sure that you're a subscriber to my channel. I just passed over 28,000, so huge shout out to all the new subscribers and all of the ones that have been here since day one. Also, you guys, if you didn't watch yesterday's video about Bitcoin and what my thoughts are on it, you're going to want to make sure that you go check that one out because it's kind of going along with what I'm talking about in today's video. Also, you guys, the Bitcoin halving happened yesterday. So Bitcoin is officially giving people, I think, 6.25. Let's check what the official, pretty sure it's 6.25 is our new, yep, we have a 6.25 reward. And in four years, we'll have a 3.125 reward per Bitcoin. So happy halving, everybody. Uh, that was a really awesome thing to experience over the crypto markets. It's been, a real. I mean, I was there for the first, the one in 2016. So it's been a long time. I wasn't there for the very first halving, but the second halving. So it's really cool to see that coming back around in the markets. And I think it's going to fuel a lot of what's coming. So without further ado, let's get straight into the analysis. So you guys, I'm going to be talking about a couple different coins and really why I think these coins are going to explode over the next little while. If we go into the three day candlesticks and actually zoom in here on Ethereum, this coin is very forgotten, very hated and undervalued. And it just reminds me, I mean, it's kind of similar to XRP, how everybody has just decided to randomly hate this coin, even though it's very, very undervalued and has been bouncing on major support for quite some time now. Now, people are always asking me, Dallin, where can Ethereum prices go? So I'll get to that in a little bit, in a second. But you guys, current prices are at $191 and the peak price for Ethereum was $1,420. So just take a second to think about how cheap Ethereum is in comparison to the top of its previous cycle. And also you guys, I was actually around when Ethereum got added to Poloniex back in the day, back in 2015. And you guys, look at what happened after that. We went from being worth 45 cents up to $21. And this was really the first Elliott cycle in Ethereum. You can actually grab your Elliott Wave tool here and you can easily count to one, two, three, four, five wave. And then we have a nice ABC corrective wave after that. And so to have that corrective wave pattern coming after five waves is exactly what we actually had right here. We had another five waves and another corrective pattern which is very standard when we're looking at, okay, where is Elliot, Where is this coin going to go from an Elliott Wave perspective? And actually what I'm seeing here in Ethereum now, and what's interesting about Ethereum is that we've actually dropped, let me take this tool and just add the, the correct FIB retracements here. I want to make sure we got the 50% FIBO and the 382 FIBO. Awesome. Perfect, you guys. So we actually dropped between the 50% FIBO. And if this is a three and a four wave, that's a perfect spot for us to land, find support and see upside continuation on Ethereum. So you guys, Ethereum is one that I personally see a lot of potential in. There's no reason for me to be majorly bearish on Ethereum, especially after a large corrective pattern, a huge ABC correction, and the beginning of some basing structure and consolidation. Really for me, this is showing a lot of promising signs as far as price action and where prices will go in the future. So I, I can't really get into exactly the exact price that Ethereum will go to. That's just not fair for everybody if I do that. But I will talk about kind of structure in the market and where I think it's going to go. So as, as far as projections go, not exact prices. So the structure of the market is definitely setting up for a breakout pattern. And one of the reasons I actually know that this is going to occur is, first of all, human emotion, Elliott waves, market cycles, all that good stuff. But also, you guys, if we go over to... If we go over to Bitcoin in 2015 and we, we pull back here a little bit, this is actually the same corrective wave pattern that we saw in Bitcoin, an ABC corrective wave, horizontal consolidation and basing. And then we get our breakout and we start doing upside market structure. And so if we go back to Ethereum and we look at Ethereum, and I've talked about this in the past on my channel before, so all the subscribers know what I'm talking about, but I figured I'd go over it again today for you guys. 
This is the same pattern, ABC corrective pattern, basing structure. And then we'll get that breakout pattern and upside continuation inside of this market. And so, you know, in the big picture, you guys, even the all-time high of 2018 is undervalued. So maybe you're somebody that bought the top. Maybe you're somebody that bought, you know, too many rallies in the bear market and you're just holding these bags at a loss. You guys, in my view, selling your bags, and this is not financial advice, but selling your bags is something that should at least be considered to not do because of the fact that this is definitely setting up for a big picture upside continuation. And even the previous all-time high is undervalued big picture. So that's kind of my thoughts on Ethereum, you guys. But it's not the only altcoin that I'm seeing a lot of potential in. There is tons of altcoins that I'm seeing potential in right now, you guys. And so I want to just talk about a few of those today. Another altcoin that I see a lot of potential in that's very undervalued and very hated and forgotten is XRP. And I expect XRP to start doing upside structure, start basically starting an uptrend here for the big picture. Now, with XRP, XRP moves very quickly, very fast, and then consolidates for a long time. So XRP might just explode, you guys. And so if you're not in this coin and it just goes up like 300, 400% extremely quickly, you're probably going to want to FOMO into it. And that's just going to make you not only miss out on all of the gains, but then you'll be buying a short-term top. And, you know, just like Ethereum is undervalued big picture at the all-time high, I feel the same way about XRP. So it's kind of one of those things where I personally have been buying XRP, been buying Tezos, been buying Ethereum, been buying these altcoins up because I see so much value in holding these. And I think that the all-time highs are really just the beginning, like a taste of what's coming in crypto. So XRP is another one that, you know, I, I see a lot of potential in you guys. And I just mentioned the next one, which is Tezos, you guys. Tezos is also setting up for upside massive continuation. Look at the same kind of pattern. This is an ABC corrective wave. And then we have basing structure. This one is actually very bullish, one of the most bullish coins in the entire market because it's actually been breaking out and making higher highs and higher lows since the beginning of this bull market. We have a V bottom. This is a continuation pattern because we are already in an uptrend from this low up to this peak. So this is a V bottom continuation pattern. And I expect us to see further upside growth from here because of this V bottom upside continuation. And you guys, the all-time high, again, just like XRP, just like Ethereum, is just a taste of what's really coming for the Tezos market. So this is one I'm personally watching, personally buying, and very excited about. Now let's talk about the altcoins as a whole because I actually was talking about Bitcoin just the other day. And I really want to go over, and the total market cap, but I really want to go over the altcoin market cap as a whole. So if you guys understand, let me just pull it up so I don't have to ask you if you understand or state it <laughs> so you guys can really get as much value out of this as possible. This is something I've Googled a million times because I look at this chart over and over and over again because it's useful over and over and over again and human emotion never changes, which is why we make so much money in these markets. You guys, this is the first sell-off or the disbelief phase of a market cycle. Then you get euphoria. Then you get an ABC corrective pattern, then depression, and then disbelief. So what do we see here inside of the altcoin market cap? Well, we see the first sell-off. We see euphoria or no paradigm. Then what did we get? We get a beautiful, perfect ABC corrective pattern. Then we start basing out. This is depression. This is disbelief. And this is the beginning of the new bull market. So you guys, even the altcoin market cap as a whole is setting up for massive upside continuation. And just like those those top coins that I was talking about, Ethereum, XRP, Tezos, will break their all-time high, altcoin market capitalization will also break its all-time high. And as far as altcoin dominance, people are asking me, well, you, you know, what's going to go on with altcoin dominance, Dallin? Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? I think altcoins will be trending up versus a dollar. Uh, but if this support fails on the altcoin dominance right here, this is a major support level on the altcoin dominance. It's already kind of started to fail a little bit. But if this really starts to fail, we get below 31%. I kind of expect us to reach around 23% in altcoin dominance. So some of these altcoins will be rising versus Bitcoin pairs. You guys already know a few of them on the channel like Digibyte. 
and probably even Tezos, these ones that are very strong will be trending up even versus Bitcoin dominance, but there will be a bleed in some of the altcoin BTC pairs. I will be holding through all of this because I do not care if my altcoin dominance drops a little bit, if I'm gaining money versus the dollar. I'm not so greedy to try to only to try to squeeze every little penny out of the entire market. That's just a greedy mindset. You know, it's it's by cultivating a lack of greed that you actually maintain profitability in the market, but it's when you're always so greedy for every little penny that you actually lose money. And so I personally, you know, I'll be holding my altcoins. I will not be selling. Even if the Bitcoin pairs are dropping, I do not care. I will be getting more altcoins, probably buying versus the dollar, but they're going to be trending versus the dollar anyways. And so I just want to let you guys know about that. You know, a support can obviously hold still and we'll, we can obviously still head for upside continuation. But right now, this looks like a bear flag to me. And this looks like an ABC up. And the trend has been down in altcoin dominance since 2018. So in my view, it just makes sense. We have one final leg and then we make like an inverse head shoulders pattern, left shoulder here, head, right shoulder. And then we start a new uptrend inside of this dominance. So that's kind of my thoughts on altcoins, my thoughts on Ethereum, my thoughts on XRP, my thoughts on Tezos. I appreciate you guys tuning into this video. There's a lot of gems in it. You can make a lot of money uh, checking out these coins and looking to invest in them. So really, you guys, just be open-minded to a new bull market. I know the bear market was intense and you may feel like a little bit of defeat from it. But if you open your mind to a new bull market, you'll be greatly rewarded for it. You guys, I have a VIP course. You're going to want to make sure that you check that out. Links are in the description. Shout out to all the new members that have been joining. Shout out to everybody that's been profiting, profiting along with me. Shout out to everybody buying all the VIP calls. They are seriously amazing calls that I've been doing in there. We've been making a ton of money. There's actually a coin that was up over 46% yesterday that was a VIP call. And it, you know, it's been Digibyte, it's been Bitcoin, it's been some of the other ones I can't really get into exact details about. But the VIP calls I've been extremely proud of, extremely profitable. And this is really what it's all about. So I can teach you guys how to fish and you can also watch how I'm fishing so that you guys get some free fish. And then, you know, we're just all eating some good, delicious fish for dinner. So <laughs> check out the VIP course. Uh, links are in the description. And shoot me an email or Discord message. I'll give you 20% off on joining. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. Again, make sure that you're a subscriber to my channel, as well as hitting that like button for me and sharing this video with your friends if you got value out of it. I love and appreciate every single subscriber, every single viewer, every single person that likes, comments, and lets me know how I'm doing on my channel. Anyways, I love and appreciate you guys and we'll see you in tomorrow's update. As always, stay profitable out there.